guys, today we're going to try something a little different than what I usually do on the channel. It's basically just going to be me hunting and talking about whatever it is that comes to my mind, whether that is a tip or something that's happening while I'm hunting or just the new reserve, that sort of thing. So, well, we got our first call from a male feral hog, and there is a competition going on for the heaviest feral hog and also the highest scoring feral hog. I thought I had just seen him up there. I wasn't sure if that was him or not. So, I gotta be careful because the weight one has to be the biggest out of your first two harvests. And he doesn't go up to max weight. And he's not a giant in terms of score. So I'm gonna try to just back away. <laughs> so, she quite possibly could fill the first half of that mission. she does easily. So, we're in. And there are a lot of pigs here. Let's see if we can find a heavy one. I'm looking for one that's going to get a 205. I don't see any with giant teeth yet. Oh, that's not a bad one there. His weight's not big. I'm not seeing any that are huge <coughs> score-wise or weight-wise, and I, I'm not even sure that I've seen them all. Oh, where did you come from? That's a big one, and we got a buck as well. On the road, I might be able to see that, and... If I could get out my binoculars, that'd be cool. Um, that's a nice buck. Well, we've got a predicament. I think I'm going to go for the pig first, though. If I can find him again, there's so many. Uh, that one, I think. Yeah. So, 900 to 1090. That's not going to win any competitions. For sure. Usually, you need, like, high 1100s to win. Whoa. Lots of animals in this little area. A couple of mule deer does. Now, if I start to call the white tail buck in, the mule deer does are going to end up here first. I was hoping his weight was going to be high. And that would help his score as well. But usually the weight competitions, like 201, 202 kilograms, wins that. So I don't think I'm going to shoot anything from here. But I do want to try to get that whitetail buck. I think he's, yeah, he's definitely out of the range for scent. We're going to just hope that the does end up under the stand, but not spooking. Um, yeah, that's a really good buck, but uh, if he had some more points, 
you'd be looking at a true giant. He might only be. That might be a 6x6. Six six. Yeah, he doesn't have that claw point in the front that I thought he did. So, he'll end up in the 160s, I think, though. Which is one of the biggest 6x6s six I've seen. 34 meters. I could take that shot. I should take that shot. <laughs> but, he's gonna come closer. So next time he stops, I'm going to take a shot on him. Just don't have to aim high. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hit him in the spine, so no tracking required. He's behind this bush, I think, somewhere. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I have to put another arrow in him. One fifty two, that's not bad. Especially for a six by six. I think I see something, yeah. So at least three of them. So I'll go prone and just wait for them to get in range. So when one of them stops, I'll take a shot. In fact, uh, this is going to be tricky. Alright, so got her, spooked everything else. Double long shot. So hopefully one more something and then we can call it a video. Still dealing with lag, but hopefully we can just make the shot as he sees me already. That's quite impressive. So that's, I like to be able to be in those situations, or, oh, that's not our other buck, that's a different one, but he should be coming in, so we'll stay here. I like to be in the situations that I was in just now, when I'm uphill of something like a deer, or pretty much any animal, I'm not sure, I'm trying to think if there's any that I'd rather not. Maybe like rabbits, but that's just because they're kind of hidden in the grass. But my point is, when I'm uphill like I just was, I can shoot and try to get down through one of the neck bones. And if I don't hit that, I should still end up with a long shot. So there's something walking behind me. And there's a little buck coming in in front of me very little buck. Whatever's behind me is getting closer. I'm going to make an attempt to... Uh... This seems almost impossible. Sounds like there's more than one of whatever it is. Okay, it might be looking at me. Because it stopped. 
So I'm gonna hope that just being prone, it will, uh, yeah, it's still coming. Oh gosh, lagging very badly. There's just a mule deer doe. There was more than one. Um, apparently there's still more. Looks like our buck's gone. Oh wait, there's another one to the left. That's the first one. Yeah, I think the other one uh, spooked. But now there's one down there. 26, I'll just go for that. was a little higher than I wanted it to end up being, but worked out. Oh, <laughs> two does right behind me. So, what was supposed to end up being the last harvest of the video ended up being four in like a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Trying to claim the wrong one. I almost want to crouch because I feel like there's something else still somewhere. So here's this one. Spine and liver. I'm lucky that that wasn't... Or I'm lucky that he didn't end up spooking. I mean, uh, running. The fact that I got the spine... Although liver shots aren't bad, they don't go incredibly far. It's almost as good as a single lung, but I'll take the drop shot any day. I don't know where I hit this one. High neck bone, possibly brain? Yeah, I think that's brain. Oops. <laughs> that wasn't what I was trying to do. Alright guys, that's going to about wrap up this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like it if you did enjoy it, and comment down below, because I do want to know if you guys enjoy this, uh, if you want me to do it again. Uh, I really hope so, because this is something that should be easier for me to do than, like I've said, montages and trying to find a rare or a giant animal for that kind of thing. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hold up just a second. Just before I got out, I saw a mule deer doe trot right behind that fence and I don't appreciate trespassing I don't know I don't know if she passed the fence yet Just as I was hitting escape to close the game, actually I had hit escape and it went to the pause menu, but I saw her just before it got to the pause menu. So, I don't know where she went. <laughs> she was right there. Oh. Hi. No trespassing. <laughs> <laughs>